All right, this is season two, episode two of the 1964 Shasta Travel Trailer Reconstruction Project. And uh, these are the updates since the last, uh, last episode. The siding is on both sides. The roof panel is strapped into place and needs to be trimmed and stapled in. Um, so we went with the uh, four inch brake pattern, white on the bottom, then the quilted uh, diamond uh, pattern in the middle, and on top is another four inch run in white. Um, okay, let's uh, mount this ladder and uh, show you. This is a uh, vapor barrier Tyvek type stuff. And uh, the inside, we have LED lighting, overhead lighting. Um, let's see if you can see. We had a storm. Um, I guess it was around July 6th or so. Uh, this thing sat in the, in the rain for three and a half hours, and uh, it, it got a little water damage on the ceiling, but hey, it's a vintage travel trailer, and now it has a vintage look. <laughs> I still need to router out the windows and the siding, the metal siding, the door, uh, and the siding here. Um, you can see there's um, holes cut in the ceiling. Those three-inch holes are for... Uh, uh, Kenwood stereo, those are uh, speaker holes, there's two up front, can't see them because of the shelf. Uh, so there's four speakers, uh, got the LCD flat panel TV mount back there on the wall. Uh, what else is new? Uh, that's pretty much uh, what's going on with the inside. Uh, got everything wired up, all the wires are sort of hanging where the appliances get tied in. Have good continuity through all the all the wiring and so forth. Um, so again, this uh, insulation scheme gets the uh, the reflected bubble wrap, and then the skin will go on uh, on the front here and on the rear. Uh, it gets snapped into these S locks and stapled down. So right now I have uh, I have the roof strapped down with the with the one inch webbing. Um, this is basically the way that Mobile Tech puts his uh, his roofing on and uh, if you want to know how it's done you can go watch his videos uh, just ratcheting down this is sitting in the hot sun and it's kind of taking the shape of the trailer roof um, it's going to be a challenge to get that thing uh, cut and bent over and stapled in without too many ripples and buckles but uh, this is the driver's side then. Uh, turned out pretty good, I like the siding. Got the uh, siding from RV Interstate Metals uh, out of Portland, Oregon, and uh, highly recommend them. You, there are other options. Hemet uh, RV also does uh, metal siding, roofing, and so forth. The one thing about Interstate Metals is that they can do a seamless roof Whereas him at RV, uh, the way he does his roofs is every four feet there is a seam in the roof. This is a seamless roof. It has an S-lock on one end and an S-lock on the other. And other than that, there are no seams. Him at RV also does not do this pattern here. This is an RV, uh, this is an interstate uh, metals pattern that they do. And uh, so the, uh, all the wiring is uh, pulled through and heat shrink cabled. Gonna route out the uh, metal there uh, where the blue tape is, is actually where the door is. So from here to here is the door. And of course the window, the front window is right there. And this is the old door. 
uh, that's going to have to be rebuilt and reskinned, insulated, like the rest of the trailer. And I think that's pretty, mit, uh, pretty much it for all the updates. So there's episode two of the 1964 Shasta rebuild.